I'll begin by interpreting the problem statement. A vertical conduit means a pipe that is oriented up and down as shown. The fluid is oil. A differential manometer is this device here on the side of the pipe. Goal number one is the difference in pressure. So this is goal number one. And this is between point A and point B. So between a point here and a point here. So that's goal one, difference in pressure. Goal number two is the difference in piezometric head. And this is between the same two points. Next, I'll connect this problem to the everyday world. Engineers often want to measure pressure in a flowing fluid. Typically, we want the pressure at the center line of the pipe. To do this, we go to the pipe wall and cut a hole right there. Let me show you how this works. Here I've sketched a simpler problem. I'm showing flow in a pipe, and suppose we want to measure the pressure at point A. To do this, we go right to this point, and we drill a small round hole called a pressure tap. Then we connect an instrument for measuring pressure. This can be a uh, dial gauge called a Borden tube gauge. It can be an electronic instrument, or it can be a piezometer, which I'll show you next. A piezometer is a simple round tube with an open end that's connected to the pipe. Pressure in the fluid literally pushes the water up this tube, and this height here, which is called the column height, is exactly equal. This height will equal the pressure divided by the specific weight of the liquid flowing in the pipe. Engineers are also interested in a height measured with respect to an elevation datum. So I'll sketch that here. That's this distance from here to here. And this particular height is given the symbol H, and this height is called the piezometric head, and it's simply the sum of P over gamma plus Z. So the sum of this term plus this term. To summarize, engineers are often interested in measuring pressure or head at a specific point in a flowing fluid. The next connection I want to build is the concept of differential pressure. In addition to measuring pressure at a specific point, engineers are often interested in measuring a pressure difference between two points. So this would be symbolized as delta P. And this symbol is called differential pressure, and it is defined as the pressure difference between two points in a flowing fluid. In this problem, the differential pressure is the pressure at A minus the pressure at to measure differential pressure, we drill two holes, two pressure taps, and put on an instrument uh, capable of measuring differential pressure. And this is a differential manometer in this example. To document the situation, notice that I used two colors, yellow to do distinguish the oil and gray to distinguish the mercury. Uh, notice that I put down dimensions and converted these to feet because these are consistent units and this makes my calculations easier. Lastly, I looked up the specific gravity of mercury. There's a value. And I found this value in table 8.4 in the front of the book. I documented the problem goals like this. Notice the units here. This means pounds per square foot differential. And it's kind of uncommon to see this, but it's used sometimes in practice. So the two goals are the differential pressure and the difference in piezometric head. To find a solution path, I started with the manometer equation. This equation has two forms. I selected the differential head form because I'm interested in differential head and differential pressure. Here is the general equation. Let's do term by term analysis. H1 in this example becomes the head, and this is piezometric head, at point A. 
H2 becomes the piezometric head at point B. Delta H, this term, this is the, um, the change in elevation of the manometer fluid. And so that's the 0 0.25 feet in the mercury. This term is the specific weight of fluid B over fluid A. And fluid B is the mercury in this case. So this becomes, and fluid A is the oil. So this is 13.55 divided by 0 0.95. Then I subtract 1. And looking at this equation, there's one of the problem goals, the difference in piezometric head. Everything on the right-hand side is known, so I can reach one of the problem goals. Okay, so we found out how to find this goal. Let's next find out how to find this goal. Here's what I did. I started with the definition of piezometric head because that contained my goal in it, which is pressure. Then I manipulated this equation to derive an equation for pressure. So pressure is equal to piezometric head minus elevation times specific weight. At point A, this becomes the pressure at A, the piezometric head at A, the elevation at A, and this is the specific weight of the oil. And I can develop a very similar equation for point B. And then if I take these two equations, subtract the pressure at B from the pressure at A, I get this equation. And there's my goal, the pressure difference between A and B, the piezometric head difference between A and B, that's known from the previous step, the difference in elevations are known, and the specific weight of the oil can be easily found. So now I found an equation for my second goal. Now that I've found my ideas for reaching my goals, I can make a step-by-step -step plan. So here's my plan. First off, I'll calculate the difference in piezometric head, and I'll use the manometer equation. Then I'll calculate the specific weight of oil using the definition of specific gravity. And lastly, I'll calculate the difference in pressure using this equation, which I just derived. And in my documentation, I label this as equation two. Next, I execute my plan. So I calculate the difference in piezometric head, and the result is 3.32 feet. Then I calculate the specific weight of oil. I need to look up the specific weight of water at its reference temperature. And to do this, I go to table F6. And the value I get is right here. And here's the final value of the specific weight of oil. Step three of my plan is to apply equation two to calculate the pressure difference between A and B. The result is 108 pounds force per square foot and this is a differential pressure. Review comment number one. Two very common ideas, and by common I mean useful. In fluid mechanics, we often are interested in the difference in pressure between two points, the pressure at A minus the pressure at B. In fluid mechanics, we also very commonly use this concept called piezometric head, and when you see this, it's nothing more than um, the pressure over a specific weight plus the elevation at a specific point. So review comment number two. If I know pressure, I very easily can find piezometric head using this above equa equation. Similarly, if I know piezometric head, and that's shown by this arrow, I can find pressure again by using this equation. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've found this useful. Thank you very much for listening.